Mr. Shaji, you tell us something about your new film, Swam. Saham is my second film after Peravi. I, it took almost five years for me to make this film after Peravi in 94. You see, it's a film about sadness. I wanted to say something to the public, to the people to whom I love around me. And I wanted to take a subject which that deals with the common people and the common person's emotional levels. I thought that's my subject. I, that's one reason. I waited and observed, and then I found Saham deals with a, a, an emotional quality of a sadness. Can you tell us a story in a nutshell? Uh, it's about a family that goes uh, into a kind of a disintegration after the death of the father. Uh, mother starts struggles to feed their children, to feed uh, their own livelihoods, or rather find their own way out, how to survive. And then finally, she lands up in a stage no one to help her out and probably see, suddenly she sees the world is a kind of, uh, you know, a kind of something like that, not very close with what she thought earlier. She starts disintegrating in that vacuum and finally you f feel that no one to help her for the helplessness that she recovered from somebody else's. How do you uh, compare Piravi and Swam? No, I don't want to, too, because Piravi is a different thing. It is, you know, it is a film about someone waiting. A, a quality of a human quality is, is, you know, you just wait for someone else. It's a, precisely it's a human quality. Here, in these cases, you lose something, and then you realize where you lost it. So it's a two different atmosphere, a two different emotional level, two different concept of thinking also. So it's, it starts apart from one to another. How did you, did you uh, change your style of filmmaking uh, in case of Swam? Was, was it different from Kiravi? Yes, very much. Here, my entire film was shot in a kind of a concept of emotional level of looking at colors also. For example, uh, in Piravi, I used rain as a motif, but in Saham, I used color as a motif for explaining certain things. Uh, in rain, in Piravi was a kind of a motif for the feeling of life. Here, the color is used as a kind of a color for a, a, a widow. For example, for widow, uh, for her it's a colorless world. That colorless world is shot here in this film as a, in black and white. And her past, her life, is shown as a colorful. And it, there's, the color became a language in, in my film in Soham. And again, the music, Indian music, the motif of Indian music, which I thought just not arrived in a kind of a cinematic way. Because music always considered as not an integral part of our cinema, because cinema n never, uh, you know, f for example, I'll explain to you, music really, g in terms of, um, the, for example, is a, here in music is, cannot stand apart from cinema, but uh, that is a big tragedy for music, as well as cinema also. I thought, how to blend it, in terms of old classical form of music, when you tell a story in modern way, which I experimented here. I find it quite worthwhile to watch it before I explain to you. Uh, some critics have said that uh, Swam is a bit too long. Uh, it's, it moves a bit slow. Uh, would you agree with that? I um, personally speaking, it's a film about 16 characters in Swaham, and I wanted to s explain a bit about many characters. It required a little time, and I, I need a little time to explain what is their relationship to each other. And again, it is in a, 
a story of a disintegration of a family and you can't really convince a person with a time which they pr prefer uh, you know it should be short or long which i always call like this you know you can't judge a book by the number of pages on it it's the content it is the material what it transferring into your mind so in that way i totally disagree with the concept of length what is the concept of length in cinema it, it whether it absorbed in your mind or it rejected it it's it's a it's a western concept you know that length of time and the pace of your thinking in earlier days many of the original works were actually involved to you because you had a courage you you spent that much time to understand that thing also because the audience had a kind of feeling that i should give that much time to realize it what they they he or what she explained to you i think that critical uh, i refuse to believe in the sense that you know length for me this much length was very basic minimum for to explain my story to the public do critics bother you much about i mean the things are written about it the good things and bad things they affect you to me personally uh, your work will be over once the copy is struck from the uh, laboratory till that time you should be honest enough to your work after that it doesn't belong to you in fact it belongs to the audience so i should not bother about their reaction for example when van gogh painted sunflower there was quite a lot of people saying that was a bad way of looking at it. somebody loved it somebody liked it so any any creation anywhere in the world have different opinions so only thing that to me personally is you now whether it is a a film or a, a creative work which you know probably you can say you can't forget about it if you if if the material remain in your heart i think that's the quality of the creation if you forget about it then finish but that's the creative part of it even if you tell bad thing about thing i believe they cannot forget that creation that is a quality uh, do you so do you make your films to strike at the popular audience or is there any certain kind of audience you make your films for to me you know i like to speak some of my like minded friends so when i speak to you i know uh, you are intelligent i i i judge you as much better intelligent person than me so i love to speak to the people whom they realize who i am so the popularity i think is not coming into this picture at all when i make my movies and uh, so there are uh, some filmmakers who make films uh, with awards in mind yes uh, how would you define yourself for example i'll tell you when piravi was shown in london when uh, the tarkovsky films were showing in a different theater and the batman was showing a different theater tarkovsky's film attracted only very few seats there the other things there are people who went away without seats but that's not the criteria no we need certain kind of reference to in our mind which is good and which is bad it's not the art it is there is a certain concept of reference to the art forms so once it is there you know you can judge on the basis of that thing so let us struggle for that every artist from the beginning of the many centuries back i don't think they were not bothered about the awards or anything that's only the honesty they were awards are only the human inventions rather it is the a kind of a, a concept arrived from the a kind of a democratic system it's not like that we should not bother about it let us make something very honestly whether it receives or not that's a different question um do you think uh, a serious filmmaker uh, one who makes good cinema uh, finds it difficult to procure finances naturally everything in indian conditions you know now suddenly turned into a kind of a price tax economics becomes masters 
the, for example, everything has got a price. In old days, you know, remember, there were certain things which money can't buy it. You can't as priceless. Now, you, human bodies, we can be, a human body can now be divided into, for example, your heart, your lungs, and you have a price for it. So, a human being have now a, a price now in, in, threat, in terms of money. So, so, economics become a mightier thing now. We people are boiling or rather kind of, is, is a kind of a starving situations. We have no area to where to tell it because they are the mightier power now with economics. So in that way, we have to struggle. I think till the end of our life, till end of my life, till I breathe the last breath, I think I'll strive for finding a better cinema. Not, but I don't prefer to do a bad cinema. Uh, would you agree that your films have a sprinkling of uh, leftist ideology? It is not the question of left, but it is or right. You know, that's again a wrong term for me. Like you know, what you call third world. What is third world? It is a, a, it's a derivation arrived by the Western people, but ec it's only an economic terms. But in terms of cultural background, we are far superior. So the word and this right and left is a mistake of identities given by some of the people. So let us talk to the people, say what you felt right, tell them what is right or what is uh, what you wanted to tell. You judge yourself whether it is right or wrong. So there's no question of left or right. Last question. Um, Kerala is generally known for its appreciative audience, yeah. but off late uh, there is a perceptive trend that uh, films in Kerala are also made for the masses. Does this trend disturb you a bit? No, you see, if I look at the people around my place, there is almost more than a eight to nine crore of people there. To make my own movie, uh, I need only 30 lakhs of rupees to make that. That means in, te in terms of proportionate, it's far below so if I get about, uh, say about 10 lakh people to watch my movie, it gets back my money. Or rather, I believe in Kerala, I have a more audience, sensible audience, more than this 10 lakhs, which means that's an encouragement for me to make my <coughs> movies. Because in Piravi, it, it was because of their encouraging attitude, I find quite a lot of encouraging <coughs> attitudes and their concepts. In, in Piravi, the re reception from my own place is encouraging. The people liked it, loved it, es and explained it in a very different fashion. But it, because of that attitude, probably I could able to make this movie. So otherwise, probably I would have been disappointed there. So it was the encouragement of the support, and in fact, I. I thank them, Carolite, because if their attitude were different, I could not make a, a film like so. For example, the, uh, my friends, my colleagues in Antra, Tamil Nadu, they struggle, but I am in a better position. Uh, you don't mind waiting a long time to make your films? You prefer to wait that long? No, for example, for me, I need a lot of incubation time to realize, conceive, and then to hatch it. It needs every creation requires. For example, your, your human baby, baby requires about ten months time to get it in a full form. So is the idea. The, so is the concept. So you need a little incubation time. For me, I need that. So in the waiting for that much time for me is not a process of waiting for it, but it is a process of hatching in your own mind. So I don't consider it as a longer period. I, I am still on the process. Thank you. Yeah.